Everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. And uh, it is almost time to hear and see our Springbok team for the quarterfinal against France on Sunday for the match instead of the France. It's going to be absolutely epic. And in terms of the team announcement that Jacques Nielba will make tomorrow morning, so much to talk about. 7-1-5-3-6-2. What's the split going to be in the bench? Le Canyon up, in or out? Uh, Molly Debock or 100 Pollen or both, for example. Um, Jasper Bissot, Dwayne Femurin. There's so many different sort of things to talk about with regards to the team selection because we've got a 33 man squad, which, as Rusty Rasper said on his press conference yesterday, is the right 33 players. It was quite an interesting comment he made. He said, You know, we've definitely gotten the player group right in this World Cup. The question now is who will play uh, this weekend, who will start, who will be on the bench, and what will sort of the makeup of the entire 23 look like. We're going to look at a bit of a prediction, and obviously, this is quite far off because there's one thing we know about this coaching staff is that we don't know much when it comes to, to team selection because things change a lot and uh, they're always trying to keep us on our, on our toes and always trying to look at doing things a bit differently and try to get a little bit of doubt in the opposition mind so you know the fact that even the, the, the announcement is tomorrow morning instead of what usually would have been traditionally about Wednesday um so yesterday would have been the usual sort of time then when they would have announced because that's the, that's the time when they announced the actual team to the team itself uh, so it's very interesting. Um, but yeah, before we talk about uh, exactly our prediction, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. So this is what I've gone with. And again, a lot of this could be wrong, could be right. It's, it's a lot to talk about in terms of where this could change and how they could, how the makeup of the team could look like. So first things first, um, a 6-2-5-3 split. A 7-1 split. We're not going to do a 7-1 split. That's my gut feel. I don't think we'll see a 7-1 split. Um, I think we will see a 6-2 split. Um, very interested to see what 6-2 split we'll see. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm very hesitant about sort of exactly what the makeup of this team is going to look like. Because there are certain players that I'd really like to see involved. I'm not quite sure how we sort of fit everybody onto the team. Uh, there are ways, for example, to get this right. But um, that would sort of you know, often sort of negate the 6-2 the split, for example. Move to a 5-3 split. Not something we often do. Um, but yeah, let's let's see. So in terms of the front row, I think that's pretty settled. It's going to be Bongi Manambi, Stephen Kitsar, France Bahia, but I don't think that's going to change. Uh, that's our strongest front row. They will start. Similarly, I think uh, Ivan Etzebet next to Franco Mostert will, will happen as well. And I think Arches name will come off the bench. I think that tie fires worked really well this World Cup. I don't think we need to change it. Um, I've gone with Sierkis, Pistep, Toy, and Jasper Visa. Jasper Visa has tended to be deployed in the big game so far. I think he is very much being backed. As a bruiser, as a as a really big ball carrying force, I hear a Dwayne from you who, who played in the flank uh, against Tonga. I think that you know makes him a very good bench option. I'd be surprised if he starts in a way. Um, he's played very well. I, I, I know I must admit, you know, a couple of months ago, I said that he was the form number eight from the Bok perspective. But Jasper Visa can be a point of difference. You know, he can be a player which can change games with his ball carrying abilities, and and maybe that's what they'll look for uh, this weekend in in a particularly physical um, clash. You know, big boys in in, in, the, in that French pack. Um, not that pairing. I've gone with Fafta Clerk and Andre Pollard. I don't know what the balance is between Pollard and Levark. My gut says that both of them will be in the 23. I'd be very surprised, for example, if we don't see Pollard at all. And I don't think we're going to drop uh, my Levark outside of 23, Specific especially as he was involved in this press conference yesterday. That's not always a telltale sign, um, but often is. You know, they don't, or they're, they're very rarely will put up a player for media duties when he's not going to be in the, in the 23 itself. Um, I also think, you know, they've always said that money is our number one player at the moment, and I think to drop him for the quarterfinals would be incredibly harsh. But I don't see them leaving out on their product at the same time. So I've gone with that as a half bad pairing. I think Fafta Kirk starts. I think he's the most important player when it comes to our defence. Um, and I think that, uh, obviously, this weekend, we're going to need our defence to be at its best. Uh, I've got to check the Colby Kirk to answer on the wings. The only difference that could be is, is if they choose to put Kenny Moody in 14, I don't think they necessarily need to from a, from a physical perspective. And I think Kirk Lawrence and Jason Colby have done nothing wrong between them as a combination to to warrant that. Uh, in the centre, they've got Damon Delendi and Jesse Creel. I don't think we'll see Andreas Taylor. I'd be very surprised. I thought Damon Delendi was really good against Ireland. I thought that was a bit of a statement of intent from him. Um, and I think that Jesse Creel, again, we're talking about the fluidity of that French backline, the, 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 the potency they have in the attack. We need Jesse Creel's defensive abilities this weekend. From, I mean, Zodina Stick was basically saying that Nakanya Am, you know, is in contention, but it's more likely to feature in the semi final, not the quarter final. And I'd be very surprised if they were to just throw him in. I think it would be a bad idea to throw him into the quarter final. And as much as I love Kenny Moody, too soon for me. So I think you're Jesse Creel to the easy selections, the straightforward selections, the safe selection. And I think sometimes being safe is the right call. Um, and then I've got David Vincent at the fullback. You just can't even mark Kenny the way he's playing at the moment. Absolutely brilliant. However, Project Pilot back in the 10 might necessitate 
Villaru at fullback, which then again could change the bench because, as I keep saying, I think Mani Ibak and Andre Paul, I think both those players will be in the 23. In terms of the bench, I've gone with Dion Free, Oxen Chair, and uh, Trevor Nikani. I think that will be the reserve uh, front row. I don't think we're going to see a Markov and Starden, for example, getting ahead of Dion Free. Um, Marcus Neyman. And then I've got Dwayne Freeman and Quaker Smith in the 6 2. It wouldn't surprise me if we go with a 5 3 split. And uh, I think Dwayne will probably still be involved if we were to go with a 5 3 split. I'd be surprised if we were to leave out of Dwayne, for example, and go with like, a, a Jean and Clayton and, and, and an RK Slayman in sort of the two locks and, a, and an extra loose forward. We could do that, um, but a 6 2 split means that Quaker Smith basically has to play. Um, and I've gone with Thomas Reynock and Marnie Liebach. Kubus Reynolds is just on a form thing, to be honest. Cam down the wing. So if you go with a 6-2 split, you genuinely have to go Kubus Reynolds or, or Grant Williams. I'd be very surprised if they were to go with Grant Williams. But hey, stranger things have happened. And I've got Molly Liebach in that 23 because, yeah, look, he can play in different positions. But the main thing is you've got a Damien Williams. So, so you can take off Pollard and put out Liebach at 10. And if there's any injuries, Damien Williams that covers wing, covers centre. Uh, Liebach could play at fullback if really need be. Chesson Colby could play at fullback if need be. Jesse Creel can go into the wing. Darren Delaney can go outside centre. Pollock can go into inside centre. So you could do a 6-2 split with a Leibach on, on the bench there. Could have Damien Villemse. The only question mark for me is if you want to get Billy LaRue into this team, you probably start at, at, at 15. You probably then look at a 5-3 at a, at a, at a split um, with, uh, with with Damien Villemse dropping down to the bench next to a Mario Leibach and a, and a, and a Kovac Reinhardt. So... Well, then you could go to Jan Henderson, for example. You wouldn't necessarily need a, a scrum off that can cover wing. So I've been with it. It could, it could be very different. Uh, so I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steven. I'll chat to you soon.